You want to discuss the the Vinius thing? All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because like that was a like a thing that just showed up um, in Sora's cutscene. We kind of hand waved it, um, but like it's kind of you, interesting. You're, you're, better, you're better explaining than I am. All right. Well, uh, I'll tr I'll try, but. <laughs> Um, it, it's kind of interesting because, um, you know, we we know we know how um, what was it? Uh, Ven Ven's heart went went back into Sora and all that, and yeah. you know, it's obvious like obvious how he was basically messing with Sora's like head with uh, having him show up like that, but um, yeah. it's, it's interesting because uh, the way. Um, because we've seen uh, Vanius in uh, the Monsters Inc. trailer uh, for Frey, and the way he like um, talks about like Ven being inside uh, Sora and all that, like it's clear by that point we wouldn't have saved Ven. So um, something must have happened. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, and I mean, I mean the fact that um, like our uh, like after the after the fight in, inside Ven's heart and all that, um, Vanius would have had to have gone somewhere because if he's not inside Ven still or like not a part of Ven, uh, then his I feel like Vanius' heart must have gone somewhere else because otherwise he would still be asleep with Ven, I think, or having something later. Yeah. Like it's weird. Yeah. I, I think the idea I what uh what I understand what he's trying to do is trying to get Vem back so he can get his full power back or something like that. That that's just you trying to you trying to reawaken uh, you trying to get re uh, rock uh, Ven awake. Yeah. But like, he, need, he needs him a lot. He needs him awake in order to even uh, really do much. Yeah. The question just right now is just basically like how is he like out with Ven still being asleep yeah like i mean as we'll see with this game uh it's clear at this by this point Ven's heart is a lot stronger than it once was back in like the end of birth by sleep and like the other games but he's still asleep so i don't know it's weird Can you think of like a world you actively like dislike? Like not <laughs> Atlantic Kingdom Hearts 2 not counted. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Kingdom Hearts uh uh burp, um what's it called um Revive Ace Agrabah? Yeah, yeah I suppose. I wasn't a big fan of Neverland in that game, it was just basically an open just a open space with like nothing. Well, most people just hate it for Roar of the Sky. I mean, I don't, I didn't like that fight either, but uh, I, I just generally didn't like the world too much because there's just nothing there. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I, I'd really call like um, any world. I mean. I guess some some of the stuff in days, but there aren't many worlds, if any, that like truly anger me necessarily. Like even Kingdom Hearts 2 Atlantica is more of an a nuisance than it is like actively like rage inducing. <laughs> Like you just jump off the whole like building. Ah! <laughs> or like a song falling down. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I generally... I think, I think like, the nightmares as enemies are fine for the most part. There are some annoying ones later on. Or well, even now, some of the some enemies are getting a bit pesky, but... Uh, I think I enjoyed them more as enemies than the Unversed. At least in Burp I Sleep. Yeah. Because th those guys... A lot of them were just... Like... Slightly... You can, use, you, can, you can call them Heartless and, and you wouldn't be like... Uh, you wouldn't really think otherwise. Yeah. It doesn't help that a, a good chunk of them... Uh, kind of act similar to like... Heartless. Like there's the... The one... The big guys that have the wheels on the back that... Are basically just... A slightly modified large body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's just uh because of it being a prequel and all that and how like the heartless weren't as prevalent uh back then, like they kinda just had to make make something up quick. Yeah. You know, Heartless still existed, but it was like before like uh, Ansem really started the whole like <laughs> like experiments and all that, and just everything just went crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, remind me, uh, what the- how did you activate reality shifts before? Trying to struggle together? Uh, no, I mean, like, in the 3DS. Fly down on the touch screen. Okay. And, like, weren't they, like, uh... Uh... Didn't you have to, like, do different things with the, uh... The touch screen, depending on what it was? Or something? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I think, I think, like, for Dream Drop was, uh, really interesting to see them redo because of how, like, the 3DS was just so much more, like, ingrained into, ingrained into how the game works. Like, besides the Balloon minigame, I think they did a generally good job translating this. And even then, I still enjoy playing the balloon minigame. Okay, I need to get a drop me not on. Cool. I was gonna say, I don't want us to run out of things already. <laughs> Pandemonium. Take this. Take this. Can I just... Take this. I just spam this. There we go. <laughs> Okay. 
Darkest Fears. That's the uh, dark punching stuff, right? What? Uh, darkest Fears. I think. Yeah. I want to. I want to say um, Sora has more. Gets more ability links in general because uh, um, a lot of, with Riku. Um, I feel like um, multiple dreamers have the same kind of ability uh, style. I could be wrong. I could be misremembering that, but I feel like that's the case. Oh, come on. Yeah. All right, yeah. And a big one. Oh, this sequence, yeah. Yeah. What? Uh. Huh. Oh, like this is fair. No use. I gotta run for it. Like this is fair. <laughs> uh. So this is a uh, unique. Yeah, our entire and the next sequence is gonna be a getaway. Yeah. Dang it. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Screw you flying Goodbye. enemies. Don't die. <laughs> oh my goodness, why? As I say that. Okay, I'm just going to ignore the enemies. Because that, that's more trouble than it's worth. I don't miss any chests. Yeah, boy. <laughs> What's up with that sound? That sounded like I just got an item. <laughs> Yeah. 
Do you want to say how you feel about like the dreamier um, system compared to like um, what was it the melding command melding commands in BBS? Um. Oh my goodness. I don't know actually. I like uh, elements of both in different I'm ways. I'm just being chased. Yeah, we're still being chased. You better run. Yeah, I got pelted by him. But, uh... What's it? I like elements in both in the sense that, uh... With the melding, it's very easy to... It makes it very easy to break uh, Birth by Sleep really early. Whereas, uh... The way they work it, they made it work in this game makes it so you kind of have to play the game. Uh, you, know. you have to play the game to get um, the the more useful abilities. Yeah. But I like the idea of melding more on a, just a general as a general concept. Yeah. What demon is this? Oh, you are mistaken, Captain Phoebus. This is no demon. Is righteous judgment. I have been granted this power so that I may smite all gypsies now and forever. This is all wrong. He won't listen. Once you've fallen that far, there's almost no coming back. How dare you? I am a virtuous man. Good and evil shall be made plain. Once the gypsies face the fires of judgment. <laughs> no, you don't. Rip. You all right? Well, I can't say you didn't warn me. You should take it easy. I'll deal with Frollo. Thanks. I gotta tell you, this is embarrassing having to rely on a kid. You wouldn't be the first. Sorry. <laughs> I'll admit, you look more capable than me right now. All right. Be careful. It looks like that creature is heading for the cathedral. Okay. Got it. Sonic Impact. Oh, it's just the uh, <coughs> second uh, slide move. Okay. You've come to Paris in her darkest hour, Captain. It will take a firm hand to save the weak-minded from being so easily misled. Uh, do we want to talk way? about how Sora and Riku's visits are so, different, or leave that for, for later? For years, I have been um, taking care of the gypsies, and yet. Well, I mean, in this, uh, in, it, I mean, in this. I mean, in the I sense that, like, uh, it's like this what are we going to do about it, sir? same general, like, uh, things are going on, but, like, it happens, I guess our goal, I guess. yeah, same general goal, but it happens slightly differently, mm. I get. I, I don't know, it's weird, I, it makes more sense when you understand what's going on, but, As for now, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> You'd probably be kind of confused. Yeah. And uh, again, a bit ahead of myself, but uh, this this game in particular is uh, where people tend to go with, with uh, like the story getting super confusing and all that. Which, to a, de yeah. to, a, to a degree, I can understand, but I think it's a little bit overblown. Yeah. But, yeah. We'll, we'll get to that. I, I will say this much. Uh, this is... You can tell with this game, like, uh, Nomura was like... Um, Going really crazy, <coughs> really crazy with like just 
story ideas at this point. <laughs> yeah. What the heck kind of sound effect? I don't know, it's not like any metal. <laughs> Ah! We're on a great time here. Alright, let's do this. Right. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! I got Sanex to death. Alright. Is it still gonna be there? Hi. I'm not sure if I can, like, do that reliably, because they just kill me so quickly. I get stun locked like that. Now, can you guys, like, stop this? <laughs> yeah, I think the flower enemies are the most annoying uh, right now. At least the big rhino guys, I can, uh, uh throw yeah. them. Mm. Alright. Uh. What? Oh no. Oh no! Where are you? Okay. Can you, can, do this. can you not do this right now? This is horrible. <laughs> Don't do that. Ah. No! I saw him charging at me, that scared me. That was one hit. All right, no, screw that. help? Uh, I was, I was, it was, there was like a, a little bit of health knocked off me, but it was not a lot. Yeah, I don't think I can do this right now. That's just evil. Too much damage. Too much damage. I'm gonna fight these guys, though. Die. Oh. Can you, uh... Uh, remind me, does this game save your XP when you die? I don't know. No. Probably not. Does it not save any other games? Nah. <laughs> oh. I don't recall it. I'm thankful that Xenoblade does. Well, Xenoblade also, like, gives you, like, 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 you also have, like, you always are getting checkpoints. Yeah. Alright. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Sliding crescent. Okay, uh, so wait, I can do a slide into an attack? No, it's like another... Yeah, Sonic Impact. Let's go... Let's... Uh, uh, that, that's just the uh, second... Uh, dash. Yeah, okay. Oh, that! Okay. Cool. You. <laughs> Playing X4, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's, it was relevant because I just zero gravity them. Yeah. 
to them, bro. Mm -hmm. Ah, dang it. I think I got the double jump. Double jump. Wait, are you playing Xenoblade 2? Uh, Chronicles 2? No, I'm playing uh, Mega Man X4. Oh, okay. How is that game? Good. <laughs> it's good. Yep, I got the, uh, I have a double jump and I have a uh, spin attack, aerial spin attack. <laughs> uh. I'm playing a zero. Zero. Oh, come on, really? I think it was because I was, like, backed up against the wall. Oh, no! Stop dying! They keep on murdering Cream, and it's annoying. Right. We're gonna have a double jump. <laughs> I should probably check the abilities as well. Oh my goodness. Good for her. Who are you? Sure. Okay, I'm interested in getting a uh, gravity strike. You'd be doing that. <laughs> uh -huh. ah. That's fine. Oh man, I love how these sprites are animated. <laughs> so I understand that like, you're more of a like a classic Mega Man fan, but uh, what about the like other series outside of like X? Like like Star Force and all that? Yeah. Like Battle Network uh, Legends. Um, I like them. And um, there are well, there are PCs and all that. So there's not even they're different kinds of like, games on the wall. Right. I'm hard to get with judge. Mm. You know. Well, well, what ones have you played? Or what series? Um. Star Force One. I played. Um. Uh, Battle Network 3, I played, uh... 
What's that play? I haven't played Legend. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Well, I, mean, I think I'm just more attached to the. Uh, I like the X Games and the uh, classic game and work of the physical platformers. Yeah, yeah. The other games are like completely different. Uh, just. Yeah. Just genres, pretty much. Now I can't actually fight these guys. Yeah, I think if you uh, combine with the uh, lazy penguin with a. Uh, uh, with Riku, you just get this the wave surfer ability. Oh so, yeah. yeah, it's it's not as funny <laughs> as the Sora one. Wait, I, I think it's actually really good. What the uh, one with Sora? No, the the not as funny one. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's pretty good, but I don't know. It's not it's not it's not lazy penguin. <laughs> this is just genius. I mean, I do like uh, having like surfboard combos or whatever. I'm really trying to think of something to talk about right now. Yeah, we're just like, we already have our tabs. Let's get, to get out of here. Yeah. We'll get back to the cathedral. Yeah. Alright, two more levels for Mr. J. And I believe we can. Bye, Web Spider. Uh, Again. Are you gonna get a uh, Spider-Man PS4? No. Oh. You don't have already that pre ordered don't you? Hmm? Uh, I don't have it pre-ordered, no, but I wanna get it. Rising Gicky. What was the last uh, uh, Spider-Man game you played? Not, does that count Ultimate Alliance and all that? Uh, I'm gonna say, for this I'm gonna say no. Like CS1. Oh really? Like the original? Yep. Oh wow, okay. I played Spider-Man 2, I don't own Spider-Man 2. Alright, uh, how much did you play? Not a lot. Oh. That's uh, right now that's probably my favorite. Cause uh, I, I really, I, I really don't like uh, using these kinds of phrases, but it's like one of those games where you really feel like Spider-Man. <laughs> that's like, mm. I hate saying stuff like that, but it just, for that game specifically, it just, that, that's just the best way to describe it. Like, even more than like an Arkham game, to be honest, for Batman. Hmm? What's even more like, more like Spider-Man than Batman is with the, with the, uh... Um, it can probably be argued, but I would say, I would personally say so, because, uh... I don't know, I... Just the way, like, uh, the get... You can just swing around to your heart's content, and, like, there's constant... There's, like, always gonna be, like, people, like, asking you to help them. <laughs> 
And no, uh, well, I don't know. Because, like, I'm remembering, um, I, need, I still need to see Spider-Man Homecoming, but there's oh, one, right. I know there's one scene where it's like, uh, he just stops to give an old lady directions. Yeah, yeah pretty much. I, I haven't seen like, it either. Like, that's something Spider-Man would do. Yeah. I haven't <laughs> seen Homecoming either. I want to. Yeah. I think it's one of those movies I can watch without watching the other things. Yeah. Though I do want to just kind of go through the whole MCU at some point. Oh my god. You know how far behind I am in the MCU? Is she going to be alright? Uh... No. The last movie I saw, like, thing that I can recall, was Quasimodo. Deadpool. Uh. Where did the creature go? That might not even really count. Mm, yeah. Right. But otherwise, Avengers won. Wait. I'm not even like that. I the only the only MCU MCU movies I I've seen, from what I remember, is the Guardians movies. And even then, like they they those ones are a lot more self-contained, so they, it doesn't really you don't really need to see the others to uh, understand what's going on. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, the uh, volume one and two. Um, I I would probably say the second one. Ah, they avoid people like it. Hmm? Uh, uh, oh! Did they really fight off a nightmare? Well, I guess you three got this covered. Guess, guess so. It was a walk in the park. How would you know? You don't know. The most badass dark world I've ever seen. Yes. Yeah, but... Oh, give me a break. Is this a figure of speech? And I'll go fight the, um. The boss. Not the. Not the boss, the. The, uh. Rare port portal, uh. Uh, nightmares. <laughs> it's up there. I was seriously about to call them unversed. <laughs> and then, the, the need yeah. And then the next thing that came to my mind was heartless, and I was like, that's not right either. <laughs> if they're bad, they're the badass enough to destroy a nightmare. That means these guys are gonna be the next old thing to the boss. Oh jeez. They literally turn into like Goliath and all that and gargoyles. <laughs> You be fucked! Oh man. Gargoyle is Disney, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I want to say yes. Yeah. Red is Dolphin. Yeah. I. Uh, what was it? Oh no, I had something in my mind I wanted to say, but I can't think of it. Silly Goose Hub? hub. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Do we have what we need for the boss? Uh, let me... Because the boss is tricky. Yeah, you're like in the air for this. Zerg Spells Rigo. and we don't need Zerg or Vigo. Gravity. Fire Wibble actually might be nice. You have two furs. Furs. Um, I kind of wish I, I kind of wish we could meld like in uh, like you know like combine abilities together to make something stronger. Yeah. What am I doing? Um, we can have two furs on if we wanted, I guess. Honestly, I think we might need another cure because this is kind yeah, of yeah. aggressive. We only have one cure though. I mean, we almost died at Sora. Yeah. Actually, can I buy a Cura? I don't know. Was then I think the only store is upstairs. Oh. And that's gonna activate the boss, is the thing. Oh, look at all the redness. Here we go. Not so red. Ah, oh, just a cure, dang it. I don't really want to put potions on my dirk. Uh... 
If we're gonna do love why we better do it soon. <laughs> well, uh, if we just if we just uh, do the boss and stop. Well, I don't. Well, how long is the session then? Uh. Uh, a bit, a little bit over an hour. Short. Yeah.